Mr. May, I move that we approve the consent uh, kind of consent. Mr. Oh, sorry, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to pull number item number four. You ought to pull item four. Okay. All right. Council Member Bowie. I uh, move that we approve item one, two, and three on the consent calendar. I'll second. All right, motion a second. Any discussion? Items one through three. All right, let's vote. Items one through three pass five zero. All right, item number four, uh, Councilmember Member Bowie. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I have a few questions. Actually, the first person I will call will be uh, Chief Shepard. First of all, I want to thank you all the staff for the wonderful job and making the recommendations as to whether we approve certain uh, type of liquor license. In this case, it's a type 20. Can you explain us your process, how you determine a facility that you should approve them and should not approve? What is the criteria? Well, once the um, entire packet comes to my staff, from the planning department, we take a look at um, is there going to be uh, any impacts to the law enforcement perspective, and that's really the only thing that we look at from the police department. Um, is it does it have any impacts to uh, DUI crashes? Does it have any impacts to the um, the other businesses in the community as far as selling alcohol? Um, we we look at as many aspects as possible. We, we look at the, the location of other uh, of schools, um, other restaurants in the area that might serve liquor, and we attempt to see if there's any mitigating factors that would uh, uh, cause us concern. And then towards, at the end of it, we make recommendations uh, for the Planning Commission um, and uh, also the, uh, I'm sorry, not the planning commission, but the uh, the planning department to set spe specific conditions that the police department imposes on those businesses. So the decision factor is based on um, past issues uh, within the area to determine if it is, um, you know, recommend to issue the permits in this location or not, based on past history. And if this you don't have past history, then you would approve it. Well, there's, there's more than just the past issues. We look at the location and how it impacts the area as, as far as uh, criminal activity. Okay, great. Then, Rick, can you please bring up map 38? Oh, I'm sorry, page 38 on this. Okay, so the city has identified six locations within the um, recommendation, recommended area, which is two, which is close to number two, number five, and number three, which is adjacent to that. Am I correct? For this particular locations, which is a Warner and Magnolia. Yeah, I think if you go back one slide, it has those listed, two, five, and eight. Correct. So I, the, the only reason I'm raising this question is I think we are missing another point identification on that particular location, which is Smart and Final, which is in the same shopping center as this um, gas station that's requesting for a T20, a Type 20, I'm sorry. No, I think that the location requested is uh, Magnolia and Talbert. Is it Magnolia and Talbert? Yes. If I, if I may, uh, Mayor and Council. So the um, area that we're looking at is on the bottom left, oh. the, the star, oh. next to the one in six. And then the rest, the remainder, this is one census tract, and the remainder of the permits in the census tract are on the north side. Got it. Okay. So it's uh, okay. I was looking. The, okay. I'm sorry. So it's at the locations. So based on that area, so there's no per se uh, any issues that would be concerned for the community because you, 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 you stated earlier it's based on past issues or th within the area that you should issue a type 21. A type 20. Uh, yes, type 20. 
And there's number one, which is a Rite Aid store that provide the same type of service. There's also um, number six, what is it? Let's go back up. Yeah, Sprout, Sp 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 which is the upcoming. I don't see how is it a public convenience when in the same plaza you have two celebration that are selling the same thing. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. So how my, my, the deciding factor on your side is this, the concern to community aspect, right? And you don't have a report on the Sprout because it's not in yet. So how would, how would you know that it won't create more further impact down the road? Because the Sprout is going to be, they're applying for that type. How, how, do you, how do you take that consideration part of calculation? That was my point. Well, we look at other locations. I would uh, point to the area of Magnolia and Warner, uh, where you identified in the north, northwest corner of the, uh, the Red Square, if you scroll down just a little bit. There is a, there is a, uh, a bar in the back corner. There is the um, uh, Smart and Final. And there's also a very similar style gas station um, on the, right on the corner of Magnolia and Warner, which this would be very similar if you put all of those together, um, the same makeup as what we're, what is proposed down at Magnolia and Talbert. Okay, so basically you, you take only the calculation of what you have, but you have not put in the calculation for the future store that will be coming in that will be selling the same product. Well, I, I can't predict the... Uh, performance of a, a future business, but we, we go on what has occurred at other locations that is very similar to it. Okay, okay, great. Thank you, Chief. All right, just want to thank you, ask that from that perspective point. Uh, the next question will be for planning. And the decision on the planning, what, what calculation you taking at? in to approve this, beside to what they were saying it was for public convenience. Because I, I really I, I didn't see the public convenience of the aspect they're asking for it. Um, so public convenience or necessity would be up to the city council to determine at this point. If the city council determined that there was no convenience or necessity for this permit, then it's your right to deny the permit. It is an entitlement that is coming before you. The Planning Commission heard the conditional use permit aspect of the, um, of the application at their last meeting. Uh, they determined that uh, they wanted to approve the conditional use permit. Uh, so the CUP has been approved, however, it's still dependent on the PCN approval. And so uh, the City Council can determine um, if it is, public, it is a public convenience or necessity. And if you find that it's not, um, then you wouldn't approve this item. I'd just like to point out that it's public convenience or necessity. It's not both. So, Correct. Thank you. So there's going to be a future sprout coming in, and they have the same type applying for it. You have a Rite Aid in the same plaza that have the same type of licensing. So in term, I don't see the necessity or the public convenience when you have two um, big chain supermarket selling the same product. All we're doing is funneling the economic from one store to another store, which is, in this particular case, the gas stations. While the other establishment will provide uh, more jobs um, to the, you know, to the possible, you know, community members that need a jobs, while gas station has only one employee, versus a store, bigger footprint, bigger sell, I mean, bigger budget. So I, I don't see the, the necessity of adding more because all they're doing is they're coming, okay, everybody's going to buy gas. But you're taking the revenue from going to the supermarket, going to the gas station. So I don't see the necessity there or the convenience, unless you see something I'm not seeing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> so it, it's, it's it's only a determination by the city council. If you don't find that it's a, a necessity or convenience, that that would be your determination. Okay, the only reason we usually, I mean, you you guys are great asset right. for us.
because you take a lot of work from us. We have to di digest through things, and you make your yeah. recommendations. I just want to see your perspective. How do you come with that determination? What was the factor that say, yes, we, rec we, we approve this? What we find is that people that are going to get gas are just stopping in the area. They may be just passing through, and they may not stop, stop at a, a grocery outlet, per se, and then just may go to the, the gas station, pick up something really quick and then leave. And so they may not stop and go to the to the other markets in the area. Um, it's it's kind of like an impulse buy, really. They're just there, they, they pick up something and then they leave. And so um, that would be the convenience aspect of it if, if that's what you wanted to find. Okay. I think we also have the applicant here if you wanted to see if, you know, what their, how they would determine public convenience or necessity from their point of view. Okay, um, I will give an example um, of a restaurant who, let's per se, you have one person who's selling pizza and offer beers to go with pizza. A next door open a restaurant is a seafood restaurant. And to a certain clientele, certain wine or chardonnay um, or beer will go do well with the seafood, then I could see the necessity, necessity of that providing that restaurant the beer and wine license for that because he's selling certain food it would taste better with the food. I, I could see the necessity on that. But here I don't see because you have it's not mentioned that we have it. So uh, okay. I haven't said that unless you have any more to add. So it, um, so it sounds like you you're yeah. would not be in favor of it? I would not be in favor. I would I would have to ask the the applicant to come back and Explain to me how would it, you know, I, like what I mentioned earlier, yep. I don't see it. Okay, well, any, any, yeah, Council Member Vogt. For me personally, when I review this uh, applicant, uh, I will approve this application as a public convenience. Mm -hmm. For me, when I go to buy gas, it could be one or two in the morning. And by that time, I understand Council Member Bui uh, indicated there are two other locations already sold, but it's, they may not sell beer and wine at two in the morning. And I may not consume those when I buy it, but it's a convenience for me when I go uh, to pump gas, you know, one or two in the morning, and I may need a six pack of beer. And beside this um, applicant, they will not sell a single bottle of beer. They probably sell in pack or or, um, you know, in, in both. So uh, in this case, it's a convenience for the resident and for people that passing by. Mm. And um, I, I believe that uh, this applicant is, uh, is justified and it's also went through the entire planning commissioner hearing and um, they have recommend that we should approve this and uh, I am wholeheartedly would vote yes for this. Thank you. Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Mayor Pro Tem Constantine. I'm excited for people to have more choices when they buy beer, wine, and whatever they want to buy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I would support this as well. I uh, understand um, Councilmember Bowie's um, position on this, but I, I don't agree. I think, uh, you know, when he, the what the planning director said, people are passing through. Maybe they'll buy some more that they wouldn't have bought from Fountain Valley and we get some extra revenue. It gives the business owner, they know what's best for their business, that they feel that this is going to um, give them an opportunity to be more successful as a business owner. I think um, I think we should support that. I'd like, um, I'd like to respond to that comment and also to Councilman Bo. Um, we are a bedroom community. So at that time, most of us are asleep, yes? You do have a bus, a drive through through and buy it. But I know that neighborhood. If you go down around that, that time, there's hardly anybody at the gas stations. So all you're really doing is during the daytime, you're funneling the sales from one store to a gas station. But at night, there's hardly people driving on that street. You're looking at the aspect sales at night, but have that street at night, there's not, the, the common Joe is not out there. But during the daytime, 
you're funneling the sales from one store to another store. Okay. All right. Well, at this time, I'd like to make a motion to approve the um, application. I will second. All right. All right. Any further discussion? <clears throat> I'm going to do a, a, a substitute motion that we continue the request for additional information from the seller. You have a substitute motion. Any second? Uh, hearing none. Okay. We'll vote on the original motion. Please vote. The original motion passes 4-1. All right, thank you. All right, next up 